Welcome back YouTube, this is a bit of a different one. This one is a Nissan Patrol, it's a mate of mine's, which I'm doing a double cab butte chop. So of course the 6x6 six you'll all know about is getting put on hold for a little while and I'm gonna do this one. This one costs me money, this one makes me money, so that's kind of why this one's gone on hold because this is an expensive project which you probably would have figured. So. Yeah, at the moment we're going to focus on the safari or patrol or whatever you want to call it from where you're from. Basically what I've done so far is I've marked out where I'm going to cut it. I have strapped all the doors, lights, trims, pretty much everything from back seats. Oh, sorry, back doors backwards and like seats or the floor, rolled the seats forward. All the headlining has been removed to... Um, just above the driver's seat really. All the trims have been removed. I've removed all the rubbers around the fuel flap that hold that in. I've removed all this that hold all the fuel flap and whatnot in. So basically everything is removed <clears throat> to chop the back off. I've left the carpet here because I don't know why, but they've got like spinning bot nuts on the bottom of it and the fuel tank's there. So I'll, und I'll undo that and take the carpet out properly when I've chopped the back off and I can access underneath it because I can't at the moment. You know, all the chrome and everything's off and all, all that. I'm probably going to get this sort of chrome bit and make it match in with the ute because I think the chrome looks quite nice. Um, this is where I've marked it, so I'm going to cut it here. It will probably go forward a lot more than this, um, the back wall, but I'm going to cut it here to start with and across the roof and then sort of line things up and see what's going to work because I think the rear wall will probably be about here, but... I'm going to cut this, remove the back, and then I've got something to work with, and, I, and then I can measure it up and get them back properly and where I want them to, where the wall's going to be. And the wall is probably going to be a Nissan Vara D21 or D22. <clears throat> I've inquired about a, f a couple, but it's just like window angles and stuff like that, which is with the 80 was quite a long process on figuring out windows as well because this angle and this angle needs to be the same and sort of same across the roof because otherwise they just don't look right my personal preference i don't think they look right anyway when this is on this angle and this is either this angle or this angle which is not what i want to do so that's sort of the research at the moment um but yeah so tonight i am cutting it and removing the cab, so I just wanted to make this quick wee video before I did that and kind of put it out there what I'm doing and what it looked like before I chopped it. He's been asking me to do this since before I started this one, but I've just been kind of putting it off because I felt like I didn't have the time of the room and yeah, because um, of the rust as well, he's sort of is what made him want to chop it. And he's just always wanted a ute. So I'm just going to undo the body mounts. And then it's ready to chop. That's the only thing I haven't undone yet. And I'll probably finish this video here. So if you're interested in GQs or Nissans or ute chops or four-wheel drives or anything, um, give me a follow. Of course, if you're interested in seeing this 6x6 um, getting finished, give me a follow as well. And there'll probably be... A few more videos like this in the future at this rate because I've had quite a few inquiries about you chops.